Welcome to this episode, of the latest daily news updates about space exploration and colonization, here at SpaceX Today. A lot of activity, is currently going on, at Starbase Boca Chica, in preparation for the first Starship orbital flight that is due to take place, not earlier than March this year. A new ship forward dome section was spotted at Starbase with a section of the wide bay moving in the background. Wide Bay Level 3, Section 1 was lifted this morning. When fully constructed, the wide bay will increase the production capacity of ships and super heavy booster, which is necessary in making life multiplanetary. Road closures have been scheduled on 12th, 13th and 14th of January. More tests are expected during this time since these are non-flight closures. The first SpaceX launch this year took place today, as Falcon 9 launched a set of Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit, from the Launch Complex 39A Kennedy Space Center, Florida. The first stage booster 1062 used today, made its fourth flight and landed on a shortfall of Gravitas drone ship. This is the same booster that previously launched Inspiration 4 crew. There was also an amazing test of the SpaceX, Merlin Sea Level rocket engine, last night in McGregor, Texas. The James Webb Space Telescope has just crossed the 1 million kilometer mark from Earth, having now completed more than two-thirds of the distance to its target destination. The aft deployable instrument radiator has swung out from the back of the telescope to radiate heat from our science instruments into space. Up next, unfolding Webb's two primary mirror wings. See you tomorrow with another episode. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn on your notification bell.